start out by introducing yourself. Sure, I'm the money. I'm, uh, I'm an artist, writer, singer, songwriter, rapper, performer, creator. So what inspired you to pursue music, pursue a music career? How did you get started? I would say I grew up around it. My family did music. It was all around me. So that's what uh, I, I, I have to say. That's what definitely sparked the idea. But how I knew it was for me, it was my way of expressing myself. It was my way out emotionally, mentally. Uh, just expressing myself. It was my way to relate and, you know, communicate with people I feel like I didn't relate with. But, um, yeah, it ended up working out, so that's when I knew this was for me. So, what genre or style of music do you specialize in and what draws you to a particular sound? I will say I can write. I write whatever genre, but um, I love hip-hop, I love rap. I love pop. I just love good music, for real. I love good music that says something. I love uh, uh, music that takes me somewhere. It's, it doesn't end the same way it starts. It's a story. You know what I'm saying? It's a message. I, I, I just love music, yeah. Are there any artists or musicians who have significantly influenced your music journey? I gotta say my journey? family, my father, my cousins, my sister, uh, growing up. OMG girls, uh, growing up, shot the guy, rich kids, growing up, my my stepmom and uh, escape, my father, just it was literally all around me, you know what I'm saying? So, and then I started to get familiar with Outkast, Andre, Big Boy, UGK, started to get familiar with Jay Z, Kendrick Lamar, J Cole. All that, and I really started to expand my horizon. But it's a lot of dope people that I really admire and respect. So, could you describe your creative process when composing or producing a new track? I can attempt. Yeah. Lately, I have been. Lately, I've been doing a lot of loops, loops with like the melody and no no drums. And I put my headphones on and I just write and walk out the room and write. That's what I've been doing lately. But really, I just find the beat that really speaks to me, find the instrumental that speaks to me, uh, and just open my mouth and see what comes out. Pause, you know what I'm saying? But that's usually how it happens. I try not to think about it. Um, so what what do you consider to be the proudest or most memorable moment in your music career so far? Definitely being on stage with my father. With uh, being on stage with my father performing the song that we got together and my performing the song that my brother produced. Uh, this next song is extremely important and special to me. I've never had a favorite song on an album before. I've never been able to answer any time I was releasing the album, I've never been able to answer the question, which song is your favorite? But I can honestly say this time around, the song that is my favorite is the one he produced. It's my firstborn son and it's very important to me because when I found out I was having my first child, I was still riding on a bike on Bankhead selling crack on South Grand, man. And I didn't know what I was going to do to support it. And by the time he was born, I met KP. God had worked such a wonderful miracle in my life. And by the time he was born, I wasn't selling crack no more. I had a record deal and I recorded my first album. And now 10 albums later, he's producing a song for me on my album. And then just to be honest with you, I ain't never had nothing that special happen for me on an album before since my first album. So I don't really give a fuck how much you sell. I don't really, I ain't really tripping with no chart positioning. To me, this moment right here, I already won. So let's get to the next record like that.
definitely say that because I've been I've been kind of battling whether or not I should be on the same be on the same stage as him, be around him. Cause it's a it's a crazy shadow that that man casts, you know? Cause he's so successful. So I really been trying to figure out when and when not to be around him. It's kind of you know. But uh, I feel like that was kind of the, the biggest memorable special moment in hip hop for me. So with that being said, how do you balance your personal life with the demands and commitments of your uh, music career? Personal life. I don't, that's a good question because really the best music, the best music, it merges the two. It merges your personal with, with your uh, creative process, with your, with your business. Well, usually with family, family's always family. It's no, it's no arguments or no, you know what I'm saying? It's, it could be um, competitive, but we, we all just love music. And at the end of the day, over everything, we love each other, I would say. So it's, it's not that big of a deal. What, what are some of the lessons that you learned like, from, from your pop? He, he's a very, uh, the nigga been having a vocabulary out of this world, like, you yeah. know what I'm saying, since this. Like, what are some of the things that you learned uh, from being with him, like, you know and uh, keying on, like, the adversity, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, the I'm serious, like, a lot of things would have quit after I'm serious and went back to the trap, you know what I'm saying? Sure, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, like, what are some of the things, because the adversity and just, uh, just being a leader that you learned from him? Right. Yeah, just even outside of music, you know? Outside of music, I would say my father has a way of getting people out of their shell and, and giving people that, putting that battery in people's back, like letting them know like this is who you are and you're supposed to be here. Um, he has a way of really just getting people comfortable. And I feel like that's how, that's why and how he's in the position that he's in. Not, not just music, we already know what he does creatively we already know what he the talent that he has but outside of that man people really just respect him because he takes care of people he takes care of people and yeah he's great at talking to people and making stuff happen i would say when did you know your life was a little different like in your pops was like when he picked me up out. from school yeah i would say when yeah. he picked me up from school and I had my dad picking me up. And then when my dad came to pick me up, I realized that everyone knew my dad. So that was crazy. How old, how old were you? Maybe second grade, first grade, you know? And then, but that's that's in school. Like, I, I done been on stage with him and seen a bunch of, uh, like, thousands of people screaming, but you don't really understand that. You know, you, as a kid, you may think that this is what they're supposed to do. Like, this is the norm. But when they, when your dad comes to your school and all the friends or all the people that you don't even know, it's yeah. like now they want to be your friend. You know, yeah. I would say that when he, when he picked me up from school. Can you talk about any upcoming projects or collaboration that you're excited about? I'm excited about my new project. Uh, Maybe coming out at the beginning of next year, 2024. Um, collaboration right now. My brother, Messiah, Buddy Red is the only one. Uh, on the project right now, uh, artist-wise, and that's cool. We got some crazy stuff, and um, yeah, I would say yeah, just making music, living life, talking about it. Yeah. And then, what advice would you give to aspiring musicians who are looking to follow a similar path in the music industry? You gotta get out here and talk to people. It don't, it don't. Uh, I would say it don't mean nothing to, to be talented. Or to be gifted. I'm not say it don't mean nothing, but if you want to make this, if you want to make some money, you got to get in a space where someone could shine light on your talent.